Hi everyone and welcome to Akshita's Recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by at my channel. Well, after a great response that I got on my Easter egg recipes, that is I have quite a few of them, I will leave the links below of all the Easter egg recipes that I have uploaded so far. Uh, I got so many requests for the hot cross bun recipe and so I went to my mom's recipe book. I called up a few of my aunts and I uh, you know, tried to make a few changes here and there so it's easy to follow and I came up with this recipe. It's really really simple, very very easy, anybody can make these buns. So I hope you like today's recipe, I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comments box below how your hot cross buns turned out. I'm so eager to hear from all of you. And if you like this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button that you see below this video. I do need to have more and more subscribers. And uh, once you hit the red subscribe button, click the bell. So you won't miss out all the amazing stuff happening on Akshita's recipes. Uh, there are recipes, there are vlogs and also I'm going to be coming up with a lot more of vlogging very soon. Uh, so without much further ado, let me just take you through all the ingredients that we require and I will leave the entire recipe, all the details down in my description box as well as the comments box so if you can go there and follow all the exact measurements and everything. So let's get started guys. So these are the few ingredients we require. Here I have two cups of maida or all-purpose flour. I will leave a list of all the ingredients in my description box below. This is half a cup of warm milk and one egg. The milk has to be warm and not hot. This is one tablespoon of dry active yeast. Then I have a spice mix which consists of one fourth inch of cinnamon, three or four cardamom, so elaichi, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg powder. Then I have some butter, that is three tablespoons of butter, which is at room temperature, as well as one fourth cup of brown sugar and some few dry fruits, that is raisins, black currants, and dates. Now, in place of the brown sugar, you can also use regular icing sugar. Now, we're going to glaze these uh, buns with one egg and two tablespoons of milk. So, let's begin. We're going to begin by activating the yeast. So, for that, I'm going to add the yeast to the warm milk as well as we're going to add the sugar. And we're going to give this a good mix so everything gets well mixed. Remember the milk has to be just warm and not hot, otherwise it will not activate the yeast. So once you're done with stirring, we're going to just leave this aside for about 10 minutes till it nicely fries. So in the meantime, to a large bowl, I'm going to be adding the flour as well as the spice mix. And we're going to whisk it all together so it gets nicely incorporated. Now once our yeast has set, that is you will see that it has doubled in size or it has foamed, frothed and it has these air bubbles in it. We're going to add this to our flour. We're also going to add in the egg as well as the butter. First, we're just going to whisk everything together and then we're going to fold it in well together. Now, don't add any more flour. You will be tempted because you'll see that it's so soft and it's not really forming. But believe me, it will. And it is a bun. So they are buns, so they have to be soft. So what you do is just dust a platform or a table or any surface with a little bit of flour. And just using this scraper, just move it around a little, dusting it with a little flour, just a little sprinkle of flour. I have added all together about just one fourth cup of flour. 
and just oil this uh, bowl, the same bowl with some oil. Just brush it. Just to brush some oil onto the dough and just cover it and let it set for one hour. Put a timer and you have to keep this for exactly one hour and once you open it up you will see that it has nicely doubled in size now we're going to work on the dough so adding a little more flour we're going to knead this dough we want soft buns so we shouldn't add more flour then just uh, flatten it out and just set, make it into six equal pieces then again rub your hands with some flour and flatten it out then add your dry fruits that is the raisins, dates and black currants and just form nice little round balls like this. Now I like to add the raisins to each individual part. You can also add it to the entire dough and then separate them. But I like to add it so that each bun gets an equal amount of raisins and dry, uh, dry fruits. You can also use... Um, uh, the peel, fruit peel if you like. I somehow am not very fond of fruit peel so I went with the black currants with dates and uh, raisins. Now just place them on a lined baking tray. I've just lined it with some butter paper or baking paper and just see that they are uh, apart from each other. There's some space in between and cover them and again keep them for one hour. Please put a timer and keep it for one hour. After one hour, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Now, when you open it up, you will see that they have doubled in size. So now I'm going to prepare a glaze or I'm going to prepare the egg wash so I'm just adding the milk to the beaten egg and all we have to do is just apply this onto the buns this gives the buns a beautiful golden brown color once they're baked they look just simply gorgeous so just brush them with this egg wash Now once that is done, we're just going to pipe the crosses. Now what I've done is I've taken two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and a little bit of water and I've made a thick mixture and just put it into a piping bag and all just pipe it and make it into crosses. And once that is done, all we have to do is just pop this into the oven and bake this for 10 to 12 minutes depending upon your uh, oven. Now just one tip over here, towards the end of the baking, just put your oven onto the grill function and you will see that your buns come out this beautiful golden brown color. And friends, believe me, the aroma in my home is just mind-blowing and amazing. It smells so divine because of all the spices that we've added. So now all I'm going to do is just brush them with some honey. That gives it a beautiful glaze and the buns look so amazing. Now if you don't have honey, you can just use plain sugar and water syrup. You can use some um, butter too. Just so that it looks really amazing with this lovely glaze on it. So because we put the egg, it has come to this color. And now just put some lovely royal icing just to give it that final beautiful touch. And also the royal icing is sweet. So when you bite into it, you get a little bit of the royal icing, which really elevates the flavor of this hot cross bun. So this is the end result. And friends... Believe me, you'll be so happy and pleased when you have this. Serve it to your family and friends. My family just loved it. And I'll also show you, you know, when you cut into the bun, it's so soft. 
all you can do is just apply a little bit of butter and just have it it's just divine it's so soft and you see that it's baked so well inside you can be more generous and add a lot more of currants i like a little bit of it so i've just cut down on the amount of uh, raisins i put in so friends here are our hot cross buns all ready i hope you like this recipe and i hope you give it a try and let me know in the comments box below what how yours turned out and what you how you what you thought about the recipe please do not go forget to go and check out all my easter egg recipes there are seven of them i leave a link for each of them below there is the marzipan one the eggless one the peanut butter and chocolate easter egg the chocolate and caramel easter egg hollow easter eggs and even the eggless marzipan easter egg friends if you like this video don't forget to like it subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that you see below this video don't forget to hit the bell because then you'll get updates on all the videos coming up on my channel go and check out akshita's recipes i have more than 265 recipes as of today and thank you so much for stopping by at my channel and watching these videos have a great day guys and i'll catch you in my next video bye